what is up guys today we have an absolutely incredible video because the HTC facial tracker just arrived literally just there I was working on my 3d printer and I saw a van pull up and I was like oh my god I think that's the facial tracker guys I think the vibe tracker just came I think <laughs> okay so while working on the 3d printer we have just received Da, 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 da. Amazing. For HTC, you have the fastest delivery time ever, literally. But I ordered this thing knowing that I don't have a Vive Pro headset. I ordered this thing knowing that I will have to somehow make this work with the Quest. So I am here for all of you guys wondering if you can buy this and use it with any other headset. Now we already have confirmation on Twitter that this should potentially work, but I'm hopefully going to answer a few questions that multiple of you have about this. We're gonna install it on the Quest, we're gonna see if it works, I'm gonna show you how to mount it, and we're also gonna see what Windows recognizes it as, because for some reason I think some of you might be interested in that. I'm interested in it. So, without any further ado, let's jump right in to the video. Also in yesterday's comments section, I saw, oh my god, he was holding the mug the entire video, but he didn't actually drink out of it once. There is coffee in here, guys. I'm just drinking it and cutting those parts out. Don't you worry about it. So yes, basically this thing arrived while I was working on my 3D printer, because we are going to be making DIY haptic gloves. The ones by Lucas yesterday, yeah, he released the STL files. So I've ordered all the parts necessary, so stay tuned for that, because I think that is going to be quite interesting and uh, yeah we're gonna be making DIY haptic gloves so here is an unboxing of the device we open it up slide it out oh oh no 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 almost did a Linus there so the device is here very very small um, instruction manuals everything like that okay pretty cool here is the device pretty small right uh, pff, cable is extremely extremely short I have ordered a Type-C extension cable, but that one is also quite short, so I'm going to need to order another 3 meter long extension cable for Type-C. But, no I won't, because you know what guys, we are going to be making this thing wireless. It won't be in today's video, but we are going to make it wireless. I have a rough idea on how we're going to do that. Don't worry, it won't require you to modify the device in any way, shape, or form. We're going to be using a wireless USB protocol for that, so you will require a few things, but at least you won't have to damage this little device here. Okay, I am honestly extremely excited for this, so let's just dig right into it. First question I had, personally, was, is this a GoPro mount? Because this does look like a GoPro mount. So, unscrewing this screw right here reveals something that does sort of look like a GoPro mount, and I've said this in previous videos. This little thing here looks very like a GoPro mount. Now, it just so happens that I have quite a few GoPro mounts. So this is a chest mount, just out of pure interest, because this will tell us if this is a way that we can mount it onto the Quest. Let's see. Nope, it's too short. It's too short. So that means we're going to need to 3D print an adapter. Too bad my 3D printer is in parts. Damn it. That's exactly what we need to do. We need to get to 3D printing. Uh, which means I need to put the Ender 3 back together, but I'm missing parts. How bad is it to 3D print without a fan? So, not much is actually happening here. I'm just making the easiest mount ever. Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go i 
like me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end Okay, so while the 3D printer is printing, we are going to see what Windows actually sees this device as. Is it just a bunch of cameras, or will it see it as a genuine... Oh, well isn't that interesting? Also, I do have a little adapter connected to it. Okay, so it seems we are installing the Vive software now. Maybe this will install some much needed drivers. Guess we're about to find out. Let's see what this does. I mean, it's still on and still green. Runtime is running in system tray now. Interesting. So now the camera is being quote unquote reserved by another app. So, oh wait, there it is. There it is. Did you guys see that? Lip camera. Yep, lip camera version. We have the camera kit. Oh my God, I am so excited right now. Let me fire up a camera. Here it is. Is going to fully work if we can manage to get it connected. I am so unbelievably excited right now. This is so cool. Even though we just had 10 failed prints, this is so unbelievably exciting. Okay, so I currently have it connected to my five meter long USB extension, and that is simply because I don't have a type C extension just yet. But as you can see, it's on and it's still recognizing it as a lip camera. So now we're just waiting on that. So we've got our mount, we've got the lip tracker, Let's see, look at that. Look at that, it just slides right on. And then all I need to do is interface it with something. So I'm gonna find a little screw to put into there and uh, oh my God, I'm so excited. So I just tried to mount it onto a standard GoPro mount and look at this, we have full rotation both here and here. So that is a huge, huge success. Okay, so now it's time to mount it. I've put the 3M tape on the back. You're going to want to glue it to the front of your headset. Well, as straight as possible, you know, preferably. I'm going to do my very best not to glue it to my vinyl sticker, which I have at the front. And now we press down and hold for a solid 30 seconds because that's what it said on the box. <laughs> of the tape, of course, not of the headset. <laughs> so as you can see, it's now mounted to the front of the headset. And because of the way I designed this mount, you actually have quite a bit of freedom as to, well, how exactly you want to place it, which according to me is actually really good because you can place it further or closer to your mouth. As you can see now, if I were to put on the headset, the cameras, which are right here, are going to be staring right at my mouth. Now I'm gonna do a tiny little bit of cable routing so that it all looks a little bit nice and we're gonna try it out. Okay, so I have it all connected and I have it all mounted. As you can see now, this is actually working. Now, there is obviously a problem. Uh, number one, I don't think this avatar fully supports mouth tracking, so that needs to be solved. But as you can see, it is actually working. It is tracking my mouth right now. There's also another problem. This mount that I currently have is just slightly too short. So the tracker needs to be angled ever so slightly, and that seems to be causing problems for it. But as you can see, it is actually working. Now you bet that I'm going to refine this mount. It is going to be on Thingiverse. I am going to update it, find the correct length. All I know for now is that it just needs to be a tiny, tiny little bit longer. And other than that, it actually works perfectly with the Quest. Now, as you can see, I do have a wire connected to me right now to go to the Quest. But of course, that will also be solved in the next one where we will. We're gonna make this entire contraption wireless. So, I mean, what else can I say? All I have left to do now is refine this mount, make it a slight bit longer, who knows, uh, if there's a big enough... I know Cass and Cherry released a video today about their experience with it. I don't know if they're watching it, this. I highly doubt it. I might try contact them and ask them if they want one. And if they do, you know, I'll send it to them. I think this is possibly the best way to do it. I think this is the best way to mount it to the headset. Because then, if you're done, you just pull the headset off and just unclip like so. And boom, headset is ready for transport and taking, well, anywhere. And same thing can be done with a Valve Index. Same thing can be done with absolutely any headset where you can mount this on the front. Okay. Okay, guys. So basically I fired up Neos again because Alex from the Discord told me how to get the avatar that I actually need in order to make this work. Look at this. Quest, full face tracking with tongue. Look at that. Bah, 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 bah. That is absolutely 
incredible. Now you might hear in the background now as well, I am actually currently printing the longer model of the face tracker so that it doesn't need to be angled as much as it is right now, which is going to help it track even more accurately than it already is. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is actually where my camera died. You know what? Maybe it's better that my camera died here instead of dying a little bit later on because there were some weird facial expressions. Basically, this thing is absolutely incredible. I'm currently finished printing the longer iteration of uh, the facial tracker mount and let me just tell you, it works so unbelievably well with it. After this video, I'm going to begin working on the wireless USB protocol to make this happen. Hopefully I succeed, but Currently, what you're seeing is footage captured from Neos VR, PC VR, with the Quest wirelessly running on virtual desktop with the facial tracker. Tongue tracking, facial expression tracking, I even did the weird cheek thing where you like move your cheeks from side to side. Everything got tracked. I am so unbelievably impressed. Here is some fish mouth movement things. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it from now on, because why not? And as you can see, I'm speaking in game. Of course, you can't hear me speaking, but it is moving my mouth. And um, yeah, it's a little bit too open, like it constantly stays open. You can kind of tell that is because the Vive Tracker was so angled. Now that the mount has been recreated and is proper, that actually doesn't happen anymore. Once this thing hops into VR chat, it will be absolutely unbelievable. Here is a pretty insane test. You can see me moving my jawline from side to side and it actually tracked that, which is unbelievable. I was just kind of giving it hard things to do, like moving my cheeks around, moving my jawline around, and it got it all. So after, well, about five hours of recording and trying to get everything to print because uh, print failures, we finally have this done. Was it worth it? Absolutely. This is going to be a whole new level of social VR, and I'm happy to be able to help out with some 3D printed models for the people that need it in order to transfer over to that next step in VR. And if you still have doubts as to whether a GoPro mount is the correct way to go, check this out. It still fits inside the official Oculus case, which is something that a lot of people, including myself, care about because I travel and I want to be able to take my headset with me and with that tiny little GoPro mount where you can take it off whenever you feel like it, it can come with you wherever you go. And honestly, I think that makes it all extremely, extremely worth it. There you go. All packed up and ready to go. And then, you know, you just put the valve tracker wherever else. And again, we're making it wireless and I'm super, super excited to make it wireless because then oh, that's just going to be a whole, whole new thing on its own. I'm happy to be able to test this out for you guys. This was a massive success. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I was waiting a very, very long time for this. I'm sure you guys were waiting quite a long time for this as well. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to say that we did actually succeed in the end. So I need to edit this video, upload it and finish working on that 3D printer and then refine the mount. You guys are going to find version one on Thingiverse for now in case you guys need it. But yeah, basically, if you are in the market for a facial tracker and you have an Oculus Quest, and you don't mind using it wired for now because I am going to attempt to make it wireless. Attempt, obviously, feel free. This has been a huge success. So today's video was, well, quite fun actually. Uh, a big mess, big mess that you guys can't see right now. Huge mess, very big mess. Oh, I need to clean all of this up. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick merch down below that don't put a huge ad on your body and mugs that boost your FPS by 300%. And if you guys are not yet part of the community, join the Discord, join the Reddit, post your spice memes, and if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, dig my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.